Alright guys, I'm back with a pretty good unboxing today. Today will be the GoPro, if I turn it around the right way, the GoPro Hero Plus LCD. So recently I picked this up from the good guys, they had them on sale for 174 Australian dollars, which is pretty damn cheap. So this is going to be not my first GoPro, but the first one that I'll probably use properly. Let's unbox it and see what we've got. So the first thing about the GoPros is the box when they come in is generally pretty good. You've got the what's included part, so in this one you'll get the Hero Plus LCD camera with the integrated housing, a built-in touch display and battery, back door or you've got a touch back door or a skeleton back door so you can have it totally empty. You've got a flat mount, a curved mount, micro USB cable and a mounting buckle. So a bit of information and stats on it before we get into it. So 1080p resolution which I'll be using in ultra wide field of view it can record in 60, 50, 30 and 25 frames per second. The camera itself has an 8 megapixel resolution with a 5 frames per second burst mode and you can shoot time lapse on this with 0.5, 1, 2, 5, 10, 30 and 60 second intervals which is pretty cool. So you've got adjustable low light performance. It does have built in Wi-Fi so you can access the app and use the app for it. So this is an empty backing plate. So in the top compartment, we've got the camera itself, which I'll get some close-up shots shortly of it. Now, these Hero Plus LCDs with the built-in screen, uh, with the integrated housing, they cannot actually come out of the housing. So it's a, you know, you charge them, the battery is internal, you just put the SD card in and you record. For the price I picked it up for, I thought, well, you know, if I get into it and get into GoPros, I'll go and pick up some Hero 4s or Hero 5s. But I'll just see what it's like for the time being. So cosmetically, it feels pretty good. It feels a lot more compact than what my Hero 2 was when I had that years and years ago. Let's see if it has any charge. No, no charge whatsoever. So I'll leave that down there. Just plastic. Get rid of that. Plastic front. So this is one of the different types of doors. So the door of this one's just the solid door. You get two other doors. This one here is the soft touch door. So it's still waterproof, however it's only waterproof to I think it's 2 meters. Um, I'd have to check on that one, but I'm pretty sure it's 2. But you can then operate the touch screen while you've got this one attached onto it. So I'll peel back the little sticky pads. And this is the one that I'll probably use, it'll probably give better sound quality, but still means that if I drop it in the water, it's not going to hurt it. So you've got this, this is the skeleton back door, so it's just to add some more rigidness to the whole design and be able to close it up and make sure everything's not dangling around everywhere, but it allows you to charge the camera uh, while you're using it, so if you're just inside of a car using it to record a full drive track or whatever. One flat mount, one curved mount with a big bit of 3M adhesive, USB cable, whatever everyone wants, GoPro stickers, a Hero Plus LCD quick start guide, boring warranty information booklets. There's also this little mount lock thing, it's just a piece of silicon that sits into your GoPro mount once it's clipped in so you can't push the clips and 
have to fall out. A few moments later. All right, so we're back in action now. I'm gonna fire my little Nikon up. So the first thing I'll do is record on the Nikon. Now we'll open him up, put the SD card in. Alright, we're on. Go to setup, wireless we don't want on, touch display on. Sleep after three minutes. Quick capture, so if you're going to be doing some uh, like fishing or something like that, when it turns on it starts recording instantly, so that'll be handy for if you want to start recording as soon as you hook up on a fish or you know, whatever else you may use it for. Now, as a test, So I'm recording now, and although you're still going to see me on the big Olympus that I'm recording all this on, uh, the audio will be from the Hero Plus instead, just to see what it's like, audio-wise. And I'll also add some uh, video clip to it as well, just so you can see what the video is like. So you'll see for the Nikon, I'm running one of the Manfrotto Pixie Minis. Still rocking the Nikon with the Video Micro. Then up here, we'll go on the trip. This is around the fishing room. Here's an OMD. EM5 Mark II running the 12 to 40 millimeter pro lens. And that's the setup there. So I've got the computer for editing. This is the filming desk. This is the second main camera. The other main camera is away. But this is all just to get some random footage. through. So I'll stop that now and that should be a good indication. And you go from, see how long it takes for that auto adjustment to kick through. Pretty good actually. Alright so with the GoPro itself off, instead of using the main button as your on button, if you use this top button here, hold it for a couple of seconds, it'll pop up and start recording straight away. And of course you can still operate in the normal way. So that concludes my look over the GoPro Hero Plus LCD. I'll be giving it a couple of good trial runs soon and should produce some good footage captures out of it. Um, I'm looking to get uh, the chest mount of it so that way I can you know, we'll obviously have it mounted on my chest and have it set up like that so I can record 
landing fish, hooking fish, all that sort of stuff. Just so it's not on my head, because my head, yeah, when I'm using the contour cameras, it's turning. You know, I'm turning too much to look at other things. I just need to keep it on the middle where everything's nice and centered and start hooking into the fish so I can get it all on good footage. So the main cameras I'll be running with when I'm out fishing, or fishing out on land-based activities, will be now the GoPro. I'll probably still take a contour camera as a backup. And then my Nikon uh, 1 Series version 3. So that'll be the main thing. If I'm on the boat, I'll either take my new OMD EM5 Mark II or OMD EM1. Both of those are sporting 12 to 40 millimeter pro lenses and I can interchange the mics and flashes and all that to suit whatever I want. It'll just be dependent on what I feel like at the time. So cheers for tuning in guys and I'll catch you for the next one.